Hello and welcome. Today I have a little seasonal theming exercise for my latest favorite desktop environment, XFCE on Arch Linux. Can we make the rather plain defaults into something more exciting? Let's find out. At 25 years, XFCE is one of the oldest surviving Unix-like desktops around, and with good reason. I've been running it on my older hardware lately, as I've found it to be very configurable and yet possess a small footprint. Here, I'm going to launch my base Arch XFCE image and walk through the steps I take for some very basic theming. Let's go ahead and boot up our Arch instance. And we're in LightDM. Let's enter my password. And there's our plain Jane XFCE desktop environment. So let's see what we can do with this. Uh, let's update first. sudo pacman-syu. Okay, looks good. And then next, let's do the build packages with sudo pacman-s git and base dash devel. Hit return for all the defaults. And there we go. So uh, we're going to be installing a bunch of packages from the AUR today. So I'm choosing yay as the tool with git clone https colon slash slash aur.archlinux.org slash yay. Let's go into the build directory and do a make package dash si package build. And yes, let's proceed. So now it's pulling some additional packages in to build yay. You can also use Paru if you prefer. And let's proceed with installation, and it's done. Let's remove the build directory. And let's test yay. Yep, yay is working. So let's use yay to install some packages with yay-s gtk-engine-murine uh, gtk-engines next taylor-circle-icon-theme-git and then finally coger dash gtk dash theme. I probably mangled those pronunciations. All right, let's go ahead with all the defaults here. Just hit enter over and over again. So first we are building the Taylor circle icon set. The Taylor Circle Icon theme set is complete. Next up is Koger. And it's installing the Koger theme. All right, it's done. So let's go to Applications, Settings, Appearance. I'm going to choose Koger Dark today. For the icons, we'll do a Taylor Circle Orange Dark. Let's adjust the fonts to be a little bigger. And uh, also the monospaced fonts here. Let's do slight anti-aliasing, RGP subpixel order. Seems to work very well for my LCD screens. All right, let's get rid of this bottom panel here. Let's make this guy go away. And let's switch to the top panel, panel one. Let's unlock it. Let's put this 
Panel one down to the bottom of the screen, relock it. Let's go to appearance and let's adjust the icon size automatically. And let's make the row size 48 pixels high. Okay, that's nice and big. Good. All right. So we've got that applications menu down there. I don't like it so much. So I'm going to install the whisker menu instead. So yay, dash S, XFCE4, dash whisker menu, dash plugin. And hit enter a couple times and it's done. So uh, let's get rid of the applications menu. There, that's gone. Let's go to the panel, add a new item, which will be the whisker menu. Let's add that. And let's right click here, click move, and let's move the whisker menu to the bottom left to replace the uh, applications menu. Okay, under the panel button here, the preferences, let's change that icon from the XFCE icon to something a little more appropriate. Let's go to search for distributor dash logo dash black arch. That's the one I want. All right, black arch is our new uh, logo or the icon for the, uh, the menu. For the workspace settings, I prefer just two uh, virtual desktops here. There we go. Save some space. Okay, it's look, starting to look a little better here. Let's clear the terminal. Let's install yay-s brave-bin as a web browser and Thunderbird as our email client. Make sure those get installed. Let's keep hitting enter for the defaults, default selection. And Brave and Thunderbird are installed respectively. All right, so let's see if we can populate a few more launchers on this bottom panel here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm just going to add three launchers instead. So one, two, and three. Three launchers. I can move them a little more centrally here. Let's move you over. Let's get you as well. So the first launcher will be our terminal, XFCE terminal, good. Our second one will be our browser. That's a brave browser. Let's make that brave. And the third launcher shall be our email client, Thunderbird. Okay, those are our three launchers. Uh, let's add a separator. Uh, let's see where that is. Ah, yeah, toward the top. And let's move the separator over next to the whisker menu. Let's squeeze in, if I can do this right, our new three new launchers over here to the immediate right after the separator of the whisker menu. There it is. Okay, making progress. Since Brave is our only browser, let's set it to be the default. Let's skip the welcome tour today. Let me just quickly go into the settings with brave colon slash slash settings. And let's match the dark mode with brave here so that it matches the, the with the Koger dark theme. Let's go to pexels.com and let's grab a wallpaper. 
So today I'll be using uh, flowing lava. Seems to work. Kind of spooky. So let's check the info here. It's free to use and no attribution required. All right. Well, thanks, Brent Keen. We'll borrow your wallpaper here, your picture. Let's save it to a pictures wallpaper uh, folder in my home directory. And there is saved. So let's go ahead and go to desktop settings. And under folder, let's go to other, pictures, wallpaper. Let's open up that directory and select our flowing lava wallpaper. Very nice. Let's uh, change a few preference here. Let's make the uh, XFCE terminal to have a, a uh, transparent background. Let's increase the transparency to 0 0.3. Let's close there. And let's go ahead and run NeoFetch again. There's that. So you can see all the things I've installed, the themes and icons. And there's our file system. Okay, and there we are. Pretty nice. If this was too dark, you can of course use these same packages for light mode theming instead. Beauty is definitely in the eye of the beholder. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please consider subscribing, smash that like button with vigor, and leave a comment below. Until next time, take care.